Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela and today we'll continue with last. This time episode 4 of the 6th season. Um, I haven't watched last in some time. Last week I got a cold and that wasn't so bad. It's just that I was coughing continuously and it would have been really hard for me to make a video. I'm feeling better now. I'm still coughing, not as often, so hmm, it's gonna be fun. Uh, in the last episode, I don't quite remember what happened in the last episode. Oh, in the flash sideways, Kate hijacked a taxi that was clear inside. And by the end of it, Kate helped Claire kind of give birth. Um, still Claire wanted to give uh, Aaron away, but she ended up with him. On the island, uh, Sawyer ran away, kind of. Kate, Jean, and two of the others went with them after Sawyer. Kate walked away, went after Sawyer, and Jean wanted to uh, find the plane. Jean met Claire, or was held by Claire, so... Yay! Anyway, as usual, I got something to drink. The episode is ready to start, so without further ado, let's do this. Awesome. We say we just get my parents and your dad and do it shotgun style in Vegas. No, you deserve better than that, Helen. And we can do this. I know we can. So he's getting along with his dad? He's a spinal surgeon? Yeah, nice guy. He offered me a free consult. You should call him. Oh, he was just being polite, Helen. So what? What are the odds of you just running into a spinal surgeon? I mean, who knows? Maybe it's destiny. Maybe it is. So I understand why does it have this sound, this mechanical wheels turning sound. Like gears, not wheels. How was the conference, John? I was okay. I didn't really learn anything, no. but um, I made some good contacts, though. Seminar people called and said you hadn't picked up your credentials. I did some checking, and it seems that you didn't attend a single event. Where the hell were you? Look, Randy, I'm really sorry. Um, why don't we just call that my vacation week? I thought you wanted that vacation week in October, you know, for your wedding. It's personal, and I, and I really don't want to talk about it. No kidding. You. You're fired. What do you want? What I've always wanted, for you to come with me. Why do you look like John Locke? I knew he'd get me access to Jacob. Because John's a candidate. Or at least he was a candidate. Candidate for... What do you mean a candidate? Didn't Jacob tell you any of this? Any of what? Richard, I'm sorry. You mean... You've been doing everything he told you all this time, and he never said why? I would never have done that to you. I would never have kept you in the dark. <laughs> and what would you have done? I would have treated you with respect. Come with me. And I promise, I'll tell you everything. It's still about the list, right? List of candidates, apparently. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right. Young Jacob. Tell me what happened to them. All right. There's a fairly reasonable chance that you won't believe me. Try me. John Locke killed them. All by himself? Yes. He turned into a pillar of black smoke. Did it kill Jacob as well? Yes. Then where's his body? Locke kicked him into the fire and he burned away. Locke? 
Doc, do you know why he carried Richard out into the jungle? He's recruiting. What was Jacob was still talking about when they were when he was saying they're coming? About this one? Hello, James. I thought you were dead. I am. Bottoms up. Get the hell out of my house. This isn't your house, James. Hell, it ain't. No. You just lived here for a while. This was never your house. Who are you? You sure as hell ain't John Locke. What makes you say that? Because Locke was scared. Even when he was pretending he wasn't. But you, you ain't scared. What if I told you I was the person who could answer the most important question in the world? Why are you on this island? I'm on this island because my plane crashed. That's not why you're here. And if you come with me, I can prove it. <laughs> come on. The luckiest man on the planet. What are you doing? What am I doing? What the hell are you doing? You ever park a car in your life? You're practically in my spot. I'm sorry. I haven't seen you before. You work here? I own the company. Actually, I own the company. But what do you do here, John? Uh, actually, nothing. My boss just fired me. Oh? Who's your boss? His name is Randy. I own a temp agency, too. Call this number and tell him that Hugo said to hook you up with the new job. Chin up. Things are gonna work out. Where is everybody? They left. They said they were going to the temple. Right now is the safest place on the island. We should go there, too. What makes you think that I'm going with you? Because you want to find Jen. If he's on the island and he's alive, then he'll be at the temple. Well, he was. Who the hell's that? You can see him? The kid? Hell yeah, I can see him. You know the rules. You can't kill him. Don't tell me what I can't do. We need to go now. Go where? To the temple. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? I've been to the temple. I think I'm sticking with Locke. That man is not John Locke. I know. Then why are you with him? Because he's got answers. Says he knows why I'm on this island. Unless you want to tell me why I'm here, Richard. Don't be naive. He's not going to tell you anything. He's going to kill you. If he wanted to kill me, he could have done it a dozen times already. You don't understand what you're dealing with. He doesn't just want you dead. He wants everyone dead. You ever catch up with a kid? What kid? <laughs> right. What kind of placement are you looking for? Well, I see here that you have a listing for a site coordinator. Construction site coordinator. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good match. Well, if experience is the issue, I have... Experience isn't the issue. If you want to work construction, you got it. I will send you down there tomorrow, and then the day after, you will be back in my office. Let's try to be a little more realistic. And what do you know about realistic? I have cancer. Terminal cancer. I'm sorry. When the doctors first told me, I had a hard time accepting it. But eventually, I got past the denial part, and I got back to living whatever life I've got left. How about we find you a job you can do? You read books? Sure, who doesn't? My favorite Steinbeck, Mice and Men. You know that one? Nope, a little after my time. <laughs> about these two guys, George and Lenny. Lenny's kind of slow, causing George problems. George walks him out in the woods, Tells him to look out yonder and picture the pretty little house they're going to live in one day. And he shoots Lenny in the back of the head. What's on your mind, James? Wondering what would happen to you if I put a bullet in your head. Why don't we find out? Probably nothing. What I am is trapped. And I've been trapped for so long that I don't even remember what it feels like to be free. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. But you are so close, James. It would be such a shame to turn back now. Why did you have to bring him to the statue in the first place? Because the people there need to see the face of what they're up against. And what's to stop what they're up against from changing his face? He can't. Not anymore. He's stuck this way. 
fly. Does he need another body? No. It was a candidate, apparently. But okay, he needed John to get a free pass to Jacob. So why he can't change anymore now? John Locke was a, a believer. He was a man of faith. He was a much better man than I will ever be. And I'm very sorry I murdered him. No, no, you can't. I was, uh, I was calling Dr. Shepard. Well, good for you. When are you going to see him? I'm not going to see him. Well, I, I don't understand. Why wouldn't you? I got fired, Helen. How did you get fired? I lied to Randy. I didn't go to the conference in Sydney. W what are these for? My walkabout. Your, your, your what? My walkabout, but they wouldn't let me go. And, and I sat there yelling at them, shouting at them that they couldn't tell me what I can't do, but they were right. I'm sick of imagining what my life could be out of this chair, Helen, what it would be like to walk down the aisle with you, because it's not gonna happen. So if you need me to see more doctors, if, uh, if, have more consults. If you need me to get out of this chair, I don't blame you. But I don't want you to spend your life waiting for a miracle, Helen, because there is no such thing. There are miracles, John. And the only thing I was ever waiting for was you. gonna climb back up is there another way and if there is another way <laughs> why didn't they use that hmm. the game piece is the white and the black that's why you're here That, James, is why you're all here. Four. Reyes. Jara. One. Does the list? All right, I know I sound like a broken record, but how many times do we have to go over this? <laughs> if you have the last cup of coffee, you remove the filter and throw it away. Actually, I was just hoping for some little gray. Tea? Now, there's a gentleman's drink. I don't believe we've met. Ben Linus, European history. John Locke, substitute. Well, welcome. Why are all the names crossed out? They're not all crossed out. Shepard. Four, Locke. I think we both know him. Number 15, Ford. Why would he write my name on this wall? I never even met the guy. Oh, no, I'm sure you did meet Jacob. At some point in your life, James, probably when you were young, when you were miserable and vulnerable, he came to you, he manipulated you, pulled your strings like you were a puppet. And as a result, choices that you thought you made were never really choices at all, pushing you to the island to take his place he thought he was the protector of this place and you james have been nominated to take over that job it means you've got three choices first you can do 
nothing and see how all this plays out second option you can accept the job become the new jacob and protect the island protect it from what from nothing james that's the joke there's nothing to protect it from it's just a damned island the third choice james is that we just go we just get the hell off this island and we never look back and how do we do that together are you ready to go home Oh, on the island, after Black Smoke took Richard, he tried to talk him into helping him out. Richard said no, and that was it. Now Richard is going back to the temple to protect himself. Um, but uh, Black Smoke, or, you know, Big luck. Um, found someone to help him out. They went to this cave, and I'm guessing there was the place where Jacob was, you know, him and the black smoke, I guess, were, you know, staying. Quite a nice thing with the balance, with the scale, and the black and the white keeping being in balance, you know, bad and good. But now the good thing is gone and it's just a bad thing now, so the there's no more equilibrium. Um on the walls there were a lot of names, a lot of them crossed out. Um besides the so-called candidates that were left and they each have a number and you know putting them together is the numbers the so famous numbers but i haven't seen kate's name there and uh, Jacob, at some point, did meet Kate. So what happened there? Did Kate... Didn't turn out as Jacob was... Jacob thought she would, or... What's going on? Because, you know... The black smoke, you know, showed all the names, even logs, and he said, you know, the last one is uh, Sawyer. And apparently the candidates are for taking uh, Jacob's place to protect the island. Even if John said there's nothing to protect the island from. The others and Richard at Jacob's orders did, you know, try to keep it a secret, try to try to get rid of Dharma and all that stuff and I'm pretty sure one of those things to protect the island from is maybe the black smoke. There, apparently the reason why Jacob met the people he met was to kind of make them at some point end up on the island. I mean, it kind of influenced them. And let's say that I kind of understand maybe Sawyer, um... John, definitely, because he helped him, you know. Um, I understand how did he influence 
Jean and son by just being at their wedding. Just gave his greetings and that's all. I don't know, um, but I'm curious to know what are they gonna do next. How are they gonna... Like, apparently, the Black Smoke wants to kill everyone and I think he wanted to kill Sawyer as well. If maybe, I think, young Jacob didn't show up. Told him about the rules and all that stuff. Or maybe from the beginning had this plan of showing... Sawyer, the cave, and... But again, how they are gonna... get out of there? If the ladder broke? I don't know. Um, in the flash sideways, it was honestly nice to see um, John finally kind of content and accepting in a way his condition not saying like yeah that's this is it I can do more than my condition but like not fighting against it but kind of working around it um, him being with uh, Helen, being together and happy and getting married for now because who knows what might happen. Because, um, you know, she died from a illness or something, if I remember. So this flash sideways rose still has cancer so maybe helen is not so well either and maybe if she i don't know dies before wedding something changes in in um with john but for now he seem seems happy in a way or at least in a way at peace even if he lost his job and he's still in a wheelchair and all that got a new job and he met Ben um, apparently like I I want to know how he ended up in a wheelchair Because if it was from his dad throwing him out of a window, I don't know if he wanted him at the wedding. Or maybe he didn't told Helen what happened. I don't think so. The, yeah, that was an episode. Not many left to go, so I'm so curious how it's gonna end. All of this is gonna end. Curious what is gonna do. Uh, I forgot the name of the woman that came on the island. She took the ashes of Jacob. I'm really curious to know what she's gonna do with them. Is Jacob gonna come back from the ashes like a phoenix? I don't know. But they are going to the temple, so... I oh, that was that. Um, can't wait for the next. For now, this is all I have to say. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye!